Hi guys, I want to give an update on how withdrawing from Risperidol is going. Um, the main point of this video is to bring up some problems with periods and prolactin levels. So when I made my last video, which was around October 10th, I was on 2 milligrams after being on 3 milligrams for a few months. And that decrease uh, turned out everything was fine. I didn't really feel a difference from 3 to 2, which I assume is a good thing, and any typical withdrawal symptoms like flu-like symptoms uh, just weren't there. I also got my period from October 18th to October 23rd. On October 31st, I was lower to 1.5 milligrams. This is when things got a little weird. Um, for the most part, I couldn't tell a difference, but maybe the obsessive thoughts were returning. Um, either that or I was becoming paranoid about those returning thoughts like I'm like turning into a man or that something was just going on with my body. Um, however, this time around, the month so when I was due to get my period for November, um, it just didn't happen. My period was due November 17th, but I just didn't get it. I spent my Thanksgiving worrying about it, um, and I, I don't think I was pregnant. I am pregnant. I figured it was because of elevated prolactin levels because I still secrete discharge from my nipples when I squeeze them. Um, and based on most studies, when you like Google it and just whatever pops up, Elevated prolactin levels from Risperidol can cause period irregularity and um, something called amenorrhea, I think. Um, however, not having a period after having one on higher doses on the medication was weird because when I asked my doctor, he told me that prolactin levels were dose dependent, meaning that there was a correlation between how much a medication is given and how high the levels are. So the higher the dose, the higher your levels. Uh, the lower the dose, the lower your levels. So I'm just confused as to how and why I got my period for all this time the past year and on. Um, um, on a higher dose and now on a lower dose, I just didn't get it. Um, I read some articles that do state cases where the dose dependency does not apply. And I will link those in the description box because I did my own research despite what my doctor says. Don't stay on the internet. Um, I can be a hypochondriac sometimes, but I, like, I'm curious about these things, and there are studies that people, like, it didn't fit that dose dependency theory. So, yesterday, on November 28th, I got my doctor appointment, um, and my doctor told me that if it wasn't the Risperidol causing my lack of period, then I would have to get my pituitary gland checked. Um, but he, I also took a blood test to see where I was at. He said that he wasn't sure why I didn't get a period before, but not this time. Why I got my period before, but not this time. So currently I am waiting on lab results. If my prolactin levels are still elevated, which I suspect they are because I still lactate, I need to focus on getting off the drug completely. Um, this matters to me because... I want to be fertile, and if you have elevated prolactin levels and no periods, then something isn't functioning correctly in your reproductive system. Also, high prolactin levels can lead to osteoporosis. Um, and the main takeaway here is just I just hope I get my period back. Um, I won't. I wish I didn't have to worry about these things, and I don't know if I should be worried if this is reversible. I don't want to do any permanent damage. Um, but most doctors suggest if things happen on your uh, any medication, just lower the dose and then it should be fine. However, this doesn't seem to be the case, um, so I'm understandably worried. Um, if anyone has advice for me, that would be so great. Um, if this has happened to you, like what is what was the problem? Did like what fixed it besides? getting off the medication or if it even was the medication. Um, I still have to figure out if I'm like I still need to take a pregnancy test but I have not had 
sex in so long. Um, that's personal, but, um, yeah. Thanks for listening. I just hope I can get out of this alive and unscathed, and that I hope everything works out in my favor. Uh, yeah, it's, like, hard to keep a happy feeling when you know that you have this problem and the medicine is helping that problem but also creating new problems that can also cause you to obsess about like it's it's just not fair obviously there's no miracle pill but thanks for listening and yeah again if you have any if you have anything to tell me like let me know thanks <laughs>